The VT-5 stands as a fresh addition to the lineup of Chinese light tanks. The initial images of this novel light tank emerged as early as 2010. The entire development program was shrouded in secrecy, with no official statements made about this innovative tank. The tank's design is completely novel, seemingly tailored to succeed the aging Type 62 light tanks, which are employed by the Chinese armed forces. The Chinese demand could potentially entail a minimum of 300 new light tanks. However, according to Narinko, its development was exclusively aimed at export. The vehicle was first unveiled to the public in 2016 under the designation VT-5, with its primary purpose being export to various potential customers. In 2020, Bangladesh became the debut customer for this tank, placing an order for 44 units, with deliveries commencing the same year. The VT-5 prioritizes mobility as a paramount feature. Its main roles encompass reconnaissance and support for infantry operations. It exhibits the capability to navigate challenging terrains like mountains, jungles, and river regions that are inaccessible to heavier main battle tanks. There's also potential for use by airborne troops. The creation of this new tank underscores China's substantial commitment to bolstering its offensive capabilities. The VT-5 boasts a welded armored hull and turret, reportedly constructed from steel armor. The tank is also outfitted with an add-on armor package, which could be either passive composite armor or explosive reactive armor. Certain sections of the VT-5 feature cage armor, offering protection against anti-tank missiles and rockets. Standard equipment includes NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. The tank's weight ranges from 33 to 36 tons, contingent on the chosen armor configuration. An additional passive protection system employs a laser detector, activating smoke grenade launchers when the tank is illuminated by a laser beam. This mechanism mitigates the risk of being targeted by laser-guided anti-tank missiles. The VT-5's armament comprises a fully stabilized 105mm rifled gun, compatible with standard NATO 105mm tank ammunition. The gun incorporates an automatic bustle-mounted ammunition loading system, which reduces the crew to three members. This smaller crew size facilitates a reduced tank profile, enhancing battlefield survivability. The VT-5 boasts an effective firing range of 3 km, with its APFSDS round capable of penetrating up to 500 mm of rolled homogeneous armor. To extend the range and efficacy, the tank can launch 105 mm anti-tank guided missiles, achieving a hit probability exceeding 90% against stationary targets. These missiles carry tandem heat warheads, posing a serious threat to main battle tanks and even low-flying helicopters. Additionally, the tank carries standard heat and he rounds for engagements against light-armored vehicles, structures, and field fortifications. The tank can accommodate a total of 38 rounds and missiles for its main gun, with spent cases automatically ejected through a hatch at the turret's rear. Secondary armament involves a remotely controlled weapon station equipped with a 12.7mm machine gun and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. Provision is also made for a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The VT-5 features a contemporary fire control system encompassing a laser rangefinder, ballistic computer, wind sensor, gunner's thermal sight, and a commander's panoramic sight with thermal imaging. Thermal vision empowers the tank to engage targets during nighttime and adverse weather conditions. The tank is equipped with a hunter-killer engagement capability, standard in modern main battle tanks. The commander utilizes the panoramic sight to identify targets, upon which the gun automatically aligns with the target, and the gunner finalizes the aiming and firing process. During this time, the commander searches for the next potential target. The tank is integrated with navigation, satellite communication, and battlefield management systems. Crewed by three personnel, commander, gunner, and driver, the VT-5 adheres to the standard seating layout of contemporary tanks. The driver occupies the central position within the hull, while the commander and gunner sit within the turret. 
Propulsion is furnished by an FX0012 turbocharged diesel engine, generating 1,000 horsepower. Mounted at the rear of the hull, the engine is coupled with a fully automatic transmission. This configuration results in a highly agile vehicle. The tank's tracks are made of steel and can be equipped with optional rubber pads. Its maximum fuel range is 450 km, extendable to approximately 650 km with external fuel tanks. Due to its lightweight nature, the VT-5 possesses superior mobility compared to main battle tanks like the Type 96 and Type 99. This allows it to operate in mountainous areas that are inaccessible to heavier tanks due to decreased engine power at higher altitudes. Therefore, the new Chinese tank should encounter minimal heavily armored adversaries at elevated altitudes. The tank is designed for air transport and can be airlifted by military cargo aircraft. There's potential for para dropping, although the inclusion of a hydropneumatic suspension system with adjustable ground clearance, present in prototypes, remains uncertain in the production version. Notably, most potential customers for the VT-5 do not require a paradroppable combat vehicle. The VT-5 is not amphibious. It's worth noting that Chinese Marines operate the ZBD-2000 amphibious light tank, engineered for high-speed aquatic movement and also armed with a 105mm gun. However, these two tanks are distinct, with no intention to facilitate servicing and maintenance through interchangeable components. Variants include the VN-17 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, unveiled in 2017. It shares the same chassis as the VT-5 tank. The rearrangement of the VT-5's rear power pack for a troop compartment proved problematic, so designers swapped the front and rear ends. Consequently, the VN-17 IFV moves in reverse compared to the original VT-5 light tank. Additionally, the VT-5U is an optionally manned version of the VT-5 tank, revealed in 2022. While resembling the standard VT-5, it incorporates added sensors and the capability for remote control.